I hope everybody's having a good day. January 1st, 2024. I'm going to just get some things off my chest with my YouTube community about another big reason that I'm going to be moving. So here we go. And the title of this is called The Dog Mill. And in a hundred yard, you know, square area that contains 30 houses that I live in the middle of, the average dog population is over five dogs per household. Some houses have as many as 10 plus dogs. And some have as low as two to three per household. Constantly people are bringing in and getting more dogs on a regular basis, adding to it all. And on weekends, it's been so crazy with all the yapping. I can't even sit outside on my own front porch with my phone turned up full volume. And I cannot even understand what the person on the YouTube video is saying. On Sunday afternoon, it's worse. I mean, it was absolutely horrendously terrible today. And, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night, it's bad, and some of it is the worst of it all. Well, there were some apartments that were near my area. They filed five noise complaints, and they, uh, animal control, and they really did nothing except just come out, look at the dogs barking in that case, and just leave. That was it. This was like three months ago, you know, about October uh, 23, uh, yeah, 23. So at one point, I even tallied up, you know, in my head, you know, thinking about it, over 60 dogs in my area counting them in my head like six months ago and that was on a daily basis you know nearly dogs are running loose and the city does nothing about it in my area I have had them up in my yard nearly on a daily basis dragging things off dragging trash in my yard and tearing my things up a couple times and people let their dogs get out and roam the neighborhood and no joke, if you were in my neighborhood, you would actually swear that you're in a kennel or you're in an animal shelter. And last year, there was an incident with this crap that led to violence and the discharging of a weapon on the street behind me because obviously it, it kept somebody up and got them mad and you know constantly and after a while they finally snapped and the only way i knew where the cops were riding around my neighborhood and another neighbor came and beat on my door you know when i was in a sound sleep asking did i hear the shots and you know i didn't hear nothing and so this was like last year or the latter part of 22 like december well three days ago You know, they kept two other neighbors up and they were barking and I, they were irate. And there was a bunch of sailor talk and stuff like that because this one, this one guy just got off a 15 hour shift and he got no sleep that night. This goes on constantly and this is why I'm going to be moving pretty soon. And you know, that seals up one reason. And this next thing, I'm just gonna get this off my chest and I'm not gonna lie about it. So changing the subject here, I spiritually need to get some things off my chest and honestly, I am probably on my way straight to hell, you know, for some of what I've done. And here's an explanation of why. And, you know, I have been very stressed lately, and I have gotten very angry at God repeatedly. And I have cursed to God's face. I cursed the dog mill to his face, and I cursed this drought to his face, and I cursed the constant delaying and how he never get nothing done. 
and I absolutely lost it the other day and I cursed to God's face how all of these dreams about things getting resolved, I constantly had these dreams and then it's always false, every time, and nothing but a revolving door back to square one. And when I say I lost it, sailor talk was as far as I went. On another token here, you know another thing, I see the number 66, the number 660 and 606 constantly, and I feel God, that just the abusive father he is, I feel God just can't wait to throw the book at me for being so frustrated and angry with how things are for so long, being honest about it. And it's so much, I cursed religion too and was just done with it. I resigned. And I won't lie about it with my community what I've done. And I got enough also of all these rules and regulations. Can't do this, can't do that, can't eat this, can't say that, can't see this person, can't do that, can't go here. No, you can't do that. Rules and regulations. And also this rapture thing that never happens either that got my hopes up all these years falsely. And I learned the hard way, you know about that, being so gullible. Me and God are just not on the same page and his timing is way out of step with mine. So, so much as I, so I, I mean it's so much out of step, it's like decades. That I just personally just wanna quit and me being just fed up with it all so much that I can't even begin to come up with words to describe. And I feel that it's best I just quit, meaning just tap out of religion, and meaning I don't go to church anymore. And I resume the life of the 1980s and the 1990s that brought me fulfillment, meaning, joy, happiness, and fullness, though everybody tells me it was secular. The days drag and drag, and I feel in the Lord that a relationship with God is nothing but about seeing four gray walls inside a prison on lockdown. And the God and Satan war is just too much drama for me and I don't need it anymore. And pastors also tell me to my face that, and these pastors inspired me to do this. And they tell me <clears throat> to my face that mental illness is fake. And I claim the curse by going and seeing a doctor, getting counseling, getting therapy. They tell me I am claiming the curse, telling, telling, telling the therapist my diagnosis. I finally got it out. And pastors say I don't have enough faith to be healed, you know, if I'm in a crisis. And you know, if I go see a professional, you know, doctor or something like that, the pastors tell me I'm doing it man's way and not God's way. Well, God, and they tell me God never sent mental health professionals. I am lectured constantly, often told, this response if I need to talk about something that's bothering me in my life. And people tell me this all the time, Chad, we're not gonna talk negative today, just instantly stonewalling. And this has been a problem with multiple people for 10 plus years, forcing me to hold it in. And then they are mad at me when I do blow up losing it you know, lashing out, meaning I snap. Well, then they yell at me to rub it in to say to my face, God doesn't put up with a bad temper. And this only gets me iller and gets the storm raging stronger. And you know, God never does anything about any of it. And I'm being honest about it. And I curse this mess to his face and I'm done with it. And I won't lie about just being done. And I do intend that the great white, thr great white throne judgment 
to also just give him a piece of my mind as frustrated as I am before the second death of how I felt about it all. And I'll just tell God to his face, all those goddamn yapping dogs aren't necessary anymore, and I'll depart and I'll say amen. And back in 2019, my dad yelled at me for six months for wanting to move when the kid was running end to end and went on for six months and then he's mad at me cause I blew up and, and you know, got the cops call several times when I snapped and blew up. And then he forced me to keep holding my nose in it and that's why I'm just gonna curse this mess and be done. 10-4 and I'm gonna say over and out, and I got this off my chest with my community, and everybody, you can just beat me up in the comments if you want to. I don't care anymore. Don't care about nothing no more.